heroism points you in a different direction. It unearths and unleashes something inside of you that's amazing, something that you can't do on your own, something that's truly extraordinary and truly special and truly unique. That's what we celebrate in the saints. Not that they were perfect, but because they were courageous enough to let God unleash something amazing in them. See, most of you, when you come on this kind of a weekend, you view it like, you know, I'm nothing special. I just, I go there and I get kind of pumped up and then I can go out and do some good things. It's like, you feel like you're Batman. Like, there's no real special powers. I'm just going there. I'm kind of filling up my utility belt and I'm going to go out and kind of just deal with whatever's in front of me. The reality is that's not you. You see, at your baptism, the God of the universe claimed you as his own son or as his own daughter. He put his very life and his very grace inside of your heart. And he made you for something extraordinary. And the truth is, is that you're not just some random person that's going to go learn some techniques over the weekend and then go fight evil. God's like, no, man, I'm making you Superman. I'm giving you my super divine power, my super grace, and I'm putting it inside of your chest. But what most of us do is we're like, well, I don't, that's a lot of responsibility, all that power. I don't really want to have to serve. I'm going to be uncomfortable. So I'm just going to put on my shirt and my tie and my glasses, and I'm just going to go be Clark Kent and be an idiot. Not that you're an idiot. I am. This is, this is the reality. This is what I used to do. I would go on a retreat and have this amazing experience of God. And in my head, I'd be like, something's got to change. And in my heart, because everybody was around, I'm like, okay, I'll change something. And then I got home, and the devil got in my ear. It was just a feeling. It was just a fad. You were sleep deprived. <laughs> Those people are freaking nuts. Some of them are normal, man, but that one guy, he's not normal. So I get back, and I was like, I would be like sitting there, and I get back from a retreat, and I was like, Superman, in the superhero pose, where you're kind of like all puffed out, and the cape is blowing, I'm like, yeah. And then Monday morning, you roll around, and I was like, you know, if I go into school like that, I'm going to catch it from every angle. So I tuck my cape in, I button up my shirt, I put on my glasses, my secret identity, and I would just kind of try to fit in. I'm going to play small. See, because you play small, nobody expects anything of you. It is the most courageous thing in this world you can do not to live for yourself, but to live for God. And there's some of you in this room. You're not in your head. You're not in your heart. But somewhere in your gut, you've put parameters on God. I'll follow you this far, God, but not this far. <coughs> I'll, do, I'll do this, but I won't do this. He's really coming after you tonight. You know why? Because he knows what we're trying to tell you. That he's above it. He's above all your parameters and above all your suffering and above all your intellectual doubts and above all your fears. He's above it all. He's beyond it all. He's bigger than it all. He's like, because the God of the universe is coming right where you are tonight. He's your hero. And his love is going to work for your salvation.